I'm Nia Sale. I'm Demarche Today. I'm Aria. And we're So, so Do For Two. Okay, so the next review we're going to be doing is Autumn in My Heart. And this one came out in 2000. Uh, definitely the oldest drama that we've seen. Yeah. And also our pug is here. So if you hear wheezing, <laughs> again, it would be her. Yeah. <laughs> So just to go into the characters. Okay, so we have a lot of characters in this one, but they're all important. So Song Sung Hoon plays Yoon Joon So. Song Hee Ko plays uh, Yoon Sas Cho Un Sa So. Uh, Won Bin plays Han Ti Suk. Han Che Young plays Cho Slash Yoon. Uh, Shin Slash Ai A. Um, Han Na Na plays Shin Yumin. Okay, so this is one going into this with the characters. Um, right away, this is the, you know, major Korean drama star, really, be- this is their first big drama, so obviously Song Soon Hoon, he's in a lot of other dramas, we just reviewed My Princess, he was in Summer Sense, he's in a lot of things, and, um, Song Hai Ko, like, she's really famous from Full House, and a lot of other dramas as well. Well, this is where they really got their start, um, you know, and really have pushed off in their careers because yeah. of this. And this is a drama where, <laughs> going into it, spoiler alert, like, there will be some information. I mean, this is the most depressing yeah. TV show I've ever watched. If you've seen things like, um, I mean, just to start off with, like, if you've seen things like A Walk to Remember, uh, A Millionaire's First Love is a Korean drama, as a Korean movie. Yeah, it's, it's along that line, but instead of just watching an hour and 50 minutes of those movies, you're watching... A ton of hours of a drama that's just really heart wrenching. Yeah, and the, the closest like Korean drama I'd say is like One Fine Day. So that like idea of the lost sibling and mm-hmm. finding them again and all of that. Okay, so and also uh, this is important to mention right here with the characters. The characters of Won Bin. Now I started watching this because of the two mains, but Won Bin and uh, he and Han, so Han um, so Tae Suk in the in the drama. I started watching for the other people, but he was so emotional mm-hmm. when he cried. I honestly couldn't not help but cry so i think that this is one of those stories where i think sometimes Wan bin overtakes song Sung hun's um you know acting in it so we're gonna go into chemistry okay i mean this is obviously a taboo topic because what are we talking about i mean Incest, sibling yeah. issues and even though they're not actually siblings so yeah. it's a mistake right at the beginning you know a swap or uh, swapped at birth um and you know they all grow up they know they've been to the same school it's obviously more complicated and they all live, like, in the same area, you know, that's definitely something that the chemistry, they're they're destined to be together. Yeah. So it's fate. And this is the beginning of the four seasons uh, thing. So this is Autumn in My Heart, then it's, you know, it's Winter Winter Sonata, Sonata, Spring Waltz, mm. Summer Sense. And, I mean, each one of these is supposed to be, like, representing pure love, and you do see that here because it starts in their childhood. And a couple of episodes are, in the beginning of this, dedicated Mm. to their childhood. Right, so obviously you can see a lot's going on with it. Um, this is a theme, like right now, Bachelor's Vegetable Store also had that where mm-hmm. the first couple episodes were like childhood episodes. Childhood, yeah. I mean, and this really it does it builds on it. And actually, the child version of the main female lead is um, the lead. Mm. The, yeah, what I'm not sure exactly what her name yeah, is. Yeah, but she, she was, was in the lead for Mary Stayed Out All Night, mm-hmm. and she's great. And also, this. she was in um, another movie that was really popular a few years ago. So she's made a lot like, a big tra- transition, transition after this. For, obviously, it was a big break mm-hmm. for her as well. Um, um, yeah, so little bride. the love triangle here. Okay, so each one of them has someone else they're supposed to be with, and it's complicated by their love for each other. Okay, and this is one of the ones where it's not really hidden at all, their love for each other. I mean, kind of really early when they get to re-back meeting each other, you kind of realize that they love each other, yeah. and then everyone else does too. So I think that that was one of the hardest things. I mean, the Wan Bin character, why he's so depressing, is because she never actually like shows him affection, yet he's always there for her. He always loves her, and he just gets stabbed all the time. I mean, you, you want them to end up together, but then you're like... What about it's Song so bad. <laughs> Yeah, it's really it's so good. I mean, this is like Flower Boy Ramen Shop conflict to the like nth yeah, degree because no, you really okay. Love so mistaken identity, misunderstanding. All right, so the misunderstanding here. Spoiler alert. I mean, stop. Like, Paul, don't watch anymore if you don't want to know about what's going on in the story. But you find out pretty late actually in the drama that she has leukemia, and I don't know, just heartbreaking because 
she doesn't want to tell him. She really not till the last couple episodes does he find this out. And then it's like, so they never got to be together. They've been years apart. And then she's dying of a terminal yeah. disease. So it like reminds me of the end of the notebook. And I was, just, you know, bawling. Yeah, like there's nothing. They're young. So they don't even get to have that life together. Uh, mistaken identity. So I mean, sad. well, obviously mistaken identity yeah. is the whole point. Because, you know, the girls are switched at birth and they're growing up. One has a privileged wife, life. One has, you know, a hard life different stories going on um yeah but i mean i for me the bigger issue that was obviously like what the catalyst of the story yeah. but the cancer was the part i was like oh i can't get over that part yeah uh bad guy turned good i mean no one's a bad guy here it's just a bad situation yeah that's really the issue it's here. a tough love piggyback ride okay. okay so this one has the most epic <laughs> depressing sad <laughs> piggyback ride of all time oh, literally thinking about it i kind of want to cry yeah. um so it's definitely like, the ultimate piggyback ride. I mean, they're piggyback riding from when they're children. That's the yeah. whole thing. And then... <laughs> yeah, we like already going to start crying just yeah, thinking about spoiler, it. Spoiler. So, I mean... It's just... It's epic. And you need to watch it. It's the... Really sad. Yeah. Number one piggyback ride of all time. Even though you don't want to watch it, it's no. really sad. Okay, kisses. No. I mean, this no. is one where there are... There's, like... Well, there's a forced kiss with Wanbin um, when he's still the bad guy. Uh, yeah, right. Like, we're still kind of not as good as he will become. And then there's, the, you know, there's just a couple of other kisses between uh, the two leads. I think there's, like, one. There, I know there's one for sure, and there might be a second one. Not really memorable kisses. This is not drama to watch for kisses. It's yeah. not really the big part of it. I think a lot of that has to do with it being 2000. I don't know if they were, you know, pushing that as far, but... Yeah, I mean, the kisses wasn't the big deal. Fashion. Okay, so for fashion, so we talked about Full House being kind of weird fashion. For this being five years earlier, I thought the fashion would be really bad. Actually, it's really neutral. Um, I mean, nothing about this was really, like, offensive fashion-wise to me. It was more just stuff that we wouldn't wear right now, but not, like, unfashionable. Whereas, like, I think when you're watching, like, Full House and stuff like that, some of it's weird and you yeah. wouldn't watch it. Or wouldn't want to wear it now. Um, music. So, um... For me, I think the soundtrack for this was really emotional. I mean, the, the, the main song they play, you know, all the time. You know how that happens in Korean dramas where they play the same song over and over again. Um, it's really sad. I mean, this drama is really sad. And um, the ending doesn't help. <laughs> doesn't make it better. So, when we rate this drama, I'm going to give this an 8. An 8 with a disclaimer that I think you should... I don't know. Should you watch it? I mean, watch it if you want to watch the thing that'll break your heart. Yeah. But I, I, I kind of want to give. I want to continue to give them support, but it's really depressing. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, I would say that I'm gonna give it like a seven because I really love like the acting is really great and the story is really great. And it's really well written, but I tend to prefer like the happy stories yeah. and the romance. That's like you know this one. It really it's so emotional, but. I don't like to cry in yeah. movie shows, and this one was like... It's just, there's no... Yeah. I mean, even in Millionaire's First Love, which is like a depressing story, and we're going to review that one another time, but I mean, that's one of the ones where, even though it's depressing, there's still some positive in the end. Yeah. Whereas this one, in the end, I mean, it might be a positive... Positive, maybe, but not really. Yeah, it's, like, not, it's just so sad. It doesn't end in a way you want at yeah. all. So maybe it feels more realistic or something, but it's just it's like... It's a love that's in the heart, and that's it. Yeah. And that's a sad ending. It's very sad. <laughs> Alright, so there's that one. Watch it, don't watch it, I don't know, but it's sad. <laughs> Alright, bye. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.